what is up guys i'm tyler casey and i'm gonna walk you through how to use our super 8 film pack by cinepax if you guys haven't purchased the pack yet make sure to go check it out in the link down below all the information will be there about the pack it's one of the easiest ways to get super 8 film look in your music videos and it comes with tons of assets for you guys to use to get that sick film look on your footage so once you download and unzip the pack this is what it's going to come with we have film burns frames grain overlay luts sound effects and some stills for you guys so i'm going to bring those all into premiere you guys can bring it into whatever editing software you want and you can kind of just follow along pretty much the blending mode stuff is going to be about the same there's a few effects that might be a little bit different right away i'm going to show you guys how to get that super 8 look uh, so we're going to come into frames we're going to come to video frames and this is one of my favorites it's the 500t it has a bunch of this pack comes with a bunch of different film overlays uh, this is 200t these are just different scans of films uh, some of them include the sprocket so the sprocket it's like a characteristic from super 8 film and other films uh, and this is just kind of like what the film reel uh, reads as and then so I also included like one without the sprocket and without the uh, top and bottom and then we have one with the sprocket with no top or bottom as well so that'll make a little more sense once I show you guys how to do this but uh, I'm gonna start off with the most difficult uh, this is going to be with the sprocket and the top and bottom overlay. So uh, right there, I just click scale to frame size. These were scanned in 2K. Um, so you're going to scale it up a little bit. And you're going to come over to uh, your blending modes. And you're going to want to change that layer to darken. And now you can see we already have the effect pretty much set. So the thing that I like to say is also adjust. Uh, however you like you can also center them in the frame just because the framing is going to be a little bit off because we have this big old sprocket so um, to achieve the effect where you get the top and bottom look what we're going to want to do is we're actually going to want to scale this down and we want it to fit right in that little perfect area so you can see we can go a little bit down you can even type in numbers it's going to be different for every clip really um, and on this one it looks like I'm going to have to bring it up just a tad and it looks like we got it right in the middle. I'm going to bring him over in the middle. So now you can see we have the white on the top and bottom. So what I like to do is I like to duplicate these and make two more layers. And then I click motion. I'm clicking on the second one right there. I'm going to click this. I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to drag down. This is the most work in the pack to get that top and bottom overlay effect. We have tons of easier stuff in the pack. I just want to show you guys this one because this one does look the coolest but it is a little bit of work to pull off so now we have that effect which i think is pretty cool and it's already pretty solid but what else we can do is we can nest all these together and we can add one of my favorite effects this kind of gives that super 8 effect really sells it it's posterized time so we're going to grab that uh, we're going to do 18 frames a second so now when we play that through so now you can see it has a little bit more of a choppy look to it um, if you really want it super choppy you can even try out eight frames a second that has a really stylistic look i'm going to stick with 18 because most super 8 cameras film in 18 frames per second so now what else we can do what i included in this pack is we can also include the sound if you want that you can kind of get that that film sound let me turn it down just a little bit you could have that in there, especially if the music's playing. I'm not going to put that in there on this one, but we do have sound effects for you guys. Uh, my second favorite thing is this grain. So film grain uh, really helps sell the effect, and it's one of my favorite things to overlay. Like I will literally just, uh, if I have some film grain, even if you do like one of these more mild ones like the 50D, you can literally just take that, and what you want to do is you want to change that to overlay. So now you get some subtle grain on your footage. And what I like to do if I want that on my whole video is I'll just continue to duplicate it all the way across my entire video. Uh, I'm going to use the heavy grain though. We have this 500T extra grain and I'm going to change that to overlay. Uh, and these are actually 4K, so that's pretty cool. So you can see we have this just crazy grain going on. Looks super old, like this film was found in like someone's basement. Uh, now what we want to do is to really sell the effect more is we want to use those LUTs that we provided. Um, I can actually probably just do it right over this uh, nested layer. Or I could do it on an adjustment layer. So 
I'm gonna go to browse if you guys want to know how to import your LUTs uh, maybe check out the LUT tutorial that we have on our site uh, with our personal LUTs and you can actually see how to import those into Premiere uh, we haven't named these yet we're still working on those we haven't named these LUTs yet we're just knocking out these tutorials a little early for you guys so the tutorial can drop as soon as the pack is done for you uh, we're still testing these out So you could play around with pretty much everything. You could add a little more faded film if you want to, to give it that film look. Um, but yeah, I like the way this looks. So now if we play that through, we definitely have that film look. We have the grain, we have the colors, and we have the slow frame rate, and we have the top and bottom. This, this is the most advanced you can get with this pack. So, so I hope you guys were able to follow along with that. I'm going to show you guys the simple stuff now. It's way easier. I just want to get that out of the way and show you guys. One of my other favorite things are these film burns. So we have without the sprocket. So those aren't going to have the sprocket in them. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use with the sprocket. So with the sprocket, uh, we can drag those on. And the cool thing about this is these are really good for transition. So I'm actually going to make a cut somewhere around in the middle. I'm going to get rid of the uh, overlays. I'm going to delete that cut right there. So I'm going to scale that to frame size. And what I'm going to do is with the uh, film burns, you're going to want to change those to either lighten screen or linear dodge add. Do whatever looks best for you. I'm going to try screen right now. Um, and then so what we can do is when I come through, you can actually see the sprocket is lined up. If your sprocket's off, like let's say it's like, I don't know. Sometimes it might import like that just because all the different overlays are a little bit different uh, because of the way they were scanned. You can literally just line it up like that and uh, it'll help sell the effect a lot better. So we play that through and then we get really cool film burns in between. My favorite thing to do with film burns though is transition into other clips. So what we can do is we can transition into just this like music video clip. Uh, this, so we can transition into this music video clip and we cut into that performance shot. Let me do it when there's not a transition going on. So yeah, it's one of my favorite things is these film burns. There's tons of film burns in here for you guys. They look really awesome um, and you can use them however you want. Another quick thing we included are these stills. You can use these in Photoshop. If you have like a still image, like let's pretend this is a still image in Photoshop, you could easily come over here and go to screen and you can create album art. You can do all sorts of stuff with the texture, have lots of fun with that. But uh, one of the other things that I really enjoyed that we included are these frames. So when you go to video frames, you can also go to PNG frames and I'm actually just going to drag in all these. Um, so the cool thing about these is you don't have to do anything to them. They're PNGs. They don't have like the texture and the moving of uh, like the 500T with all the cool stuff on the side. But these are definitely cool to just overlay your video for the whole time. So we have this one, no sprocket. It's like four by three. It's a lot of fun. Uh, this one's that cool widescreen look. So underneath, you could obviously move your video image. <clears throat> and we took these straight from the Super 8 film. So they have the cool like cutouts on the side. Um, let me reset that. This one has the sprocket, so you could uh, check this out. We could put a film burn right there. And like I said, see, because it's a little bit different, we could just move that over to the edge, super easy, and we get a film burn. So you can see we included all these different frames right here. Oh, I have the scale lower. So you can see this one has that cool widescreen look as well. And then this one, if I reset it, it's just the edges. If you have trouble, if you're having trouble, what you can do is if it doesn't fit is you can line it up with uh, unchecking uniform scale and you can just move it and stretch it just like that to fit your frame if you're having trouble. So to do this small one, this is uh, one that I want to include. It's just like three little uh, little boxes. And what you can do is it's pretty easy. You can just you can just draw a quick mask and put any three clips that you want in between there. We'll duplicate that move it to the right obviously you would put different clips I mean you could do this too if you want and we can move this one all the way to the left as well and if you see you can get cool three different like little frames we just threw these in as like a little bonus for you guys so yeah that's pretty much it that's the stills you can use for graphics you have the sounds that you can use in your videos you can use this grain to give your footage that vintage look and you can even put that just to give your footage a little texture throughout your entire music video. I do that all the time. So 
that's a really useful tool to just take off that digital edge from your video uh, we have the frames we have the png frames that are really easy and quick to use then we have the video frames that uh, some of these don't take as much work. I forgot to talk about this one. This is just like a four by three and it doesn't have the sprocket or anything. Um, this one's pretty easy to use too. It doesn't have the top or bottom. So you literally just turn on darken. So let me reset this mask right here and let me reset the clip. There it is. We turn this to darken, uh, scale it to frame size and let me scale this up. There's a lot of effects in this video, so let me. And you can see, super easy. We could even throw on the grain right there. We could throw on a film burn. Uh, so we appreciate you guys supporting this pack. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this pack and how you plan on using it. Uh, if you still haven't got the pack yet, make sure to click the link down there below. Check out our website. Even check out our free packs as well. I'm Tyler Casey with Cinepacks. I hope you guys found some useful tips in here to utilize this pack or just editing in general. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.